Now, have you ever wondered why some individuals seem to soar in life while others remain stuck in their tracks? It's a question that's puzzled many of us. And the answer lies within the paradox of personal growth. You see, personal growth isn't a destination but a journey. A journey that's filled with twists and turns, ups and downs, triumphs and failures. It's a continuous process that shapes us, molds us, and ultimately makes us who we are. But here's the paradox. While we all strive for growth, it's often the most uncomfortable and challenging experiences that spur the most significant growth. So why do some people get stuck? Well, it's because they resist change. They resist discomfort. They resist the very things that could propel their growth. This video is about embracing that paradox. It's about sharing strategies to help you navigate your journey of personal growth and self-improvement more effectively. Because in the end, it all boils down to one's dedication to personal growth and self-improvement. The journey to personal growth begins with understanding oneself. Like a compass guiding a ship through uncharted waters, self-awareness is our guiding light on this voyage of self-improvement. It's not just about knowing your likes or dislikes, it's about digging deeper, understanding your emotions, your reactions, your triggers. Now let's talk about emotional intelligence. Imagine it as your vehicle on this journey. It's what allows you to navigate the complexities of your emotions and those of others. It's the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions while simultaneously recognizing, understanding, and influencing the emotions of others. The beauty of emotional intelligence lies in its ability to foster empathy, self-regulation, and social skills, all of which are critical to personal growth. This journey, my friends, is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about consistent progress, not perfection. Remember, Cobb, the journey of self-improvement, while not always easy, is always worth the effort. With a clear understanding of oneself, the next step is to adopt strategies that foster personal growth. Diving into the deep end, let's talk about setting clear goals. Like a compass guiding a ship through a storm, clear goals keep us on track, steering us toward our destination. They provide a sense of direction and a measure of progress. But remember, these goals should be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound, or as many of us know it, smart. Now, maintaining a positive mindset is equally crucial. It's like the fuel that powers the engine of personal growth. It helps us overcome challenges, bounce back from failures, and keep moving forward. Positive thinking doesn't mean ignoring life's problems. It's about approaching these hurdles in a more positive and productive way. And then there's continuous learning. Ah, the beauty of knowledge. It's the key that unlocks doors to personal and professional development. It broadens our perspectives, improves our skills, and boosts our confidence. So embrace lifelong learning. Read books, take courses, attend webinars. Speaking of which, here are a few reading recommendations. Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman for understanding our thought processes. Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol S. Dweck for learning about growth mindset. And Atomic Habits by James Clear for building good habits. Now let's talk about self-help techniques. Meditation, for instance, is a powerful tool for self-awareness and stress management. Journaling can help you reflect on your thoughts and feelings and identify patterns. And of course, regular exercise not only keeps you physically fit, but it also improves mental health. In conclusion, personal growth is a journey, and every journey needs a roadmap. So, set clear goals, maintain a positive mindset, embrace continuous learning, and apply self-help techniques. And remember, every step, no matter how small, is a step forward. Remember, the journey of personal growth is a marathon, not a sprint. Well, now that you're equipped with these strategies, what's next? Here's the thing. Having the knowledge is only half the battle. The other half? It's about applying what you've learned, stepping up and actually starting your personal growth journey. It's about taking that first step, however small or uncertain it may seem. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Just like that, personal growth doesn't happen overnight. It's a process a journey that requires consistent effort and patience. It's about making little changes one day at a time. It's about being committed to becoming the best version of yourself. So don't just sit there with all this knowledge, put it to good use. Start reading that book, 
practice those self-help techniques, and most importantly, start believing in your ability to change and grow. Start your journey of personal growth today. The future you will thank you for it.